And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Hecarim. So we're going to be having a deck that's built on Nightfall with Nocturne and also some Ephemerals for Hecarim. And the card that kind of ties them together that um, is a little bit of both is Evershade Stalker because if we can kind of if we're in like a little bit of a later game where we can play multiple Nightshade or uh, sorry <laughs> uh, multiple Evershade Stalkers with Nightfall then uh, you know like we'll have multiple Nightfall attackers to level up our um, Nocturne and then there'll also be multiple um, Ephemeral attackers for Hecarim because right because Hecarim you need to attack with Ephemeral allies to level it up Nocturne you need to attack with Nightfall allies so that's the card that kind of fits this deck together, like, you know, combines them together. Evershade Stalker. All right, besides that, we're going to be pretty aggressive. We're going to have a lot of good Nightfall cards with Targon and Shadow Isles. Um, and because the Nightfall cards are pretty aggressive, too. You know, like your Crescent Overwhelms are really, your Crescent Guardians are really good Overwhelm Threat. Uh, sometimes you just try to talk too fast and um, it makes talking difficult. Anyway, Doom Beast, of course, is a good threat that uh, drains their Nexus. You have your uh, Stygian Onlooker being a 4-1 um, with Fearsome that can do a lot of damage pretty quickly. You have a good Elusive with your Lunari Shade Stalker. Another card that works out really well with these. So, like, you know, a lot of good ways to pressure our opponent's life total because both Nocturne and Hecarim do a good job pressuring the opponent's life total. Um, Stalking Shadows, another good card here because this can get us you know, multiple Nightfall cards, and then also an Ephemeral copy as well. So that's another way to get another Ephemeral card for your Hecarim. We have Moonlight Affliction as a finishing card that can, um, you know, have Nightfall, have two opponents not be able, two enemy units not be able to block, help us be able to get through, especially if we have, like, some of our, like, Fearsomes, right? Like the 4-1 Fearsomes with the one mana card. And so, like, we get, like, some Fearsomes or, you know, Leveled Up Nocturne makes everything Fearsome. And then, boom, like, two of their things that can block Fearsome, we can tell them not that they can't block this round. So that can be very powerful. But then it can also work on defense if our opponent, you know, is, like, a Zoe Fiora deck that makes, like, a super big threat. We can also have this as the Silence part as well. All right, so it should be pretty good. Let's give it a try. And yeah, like they're, we can make, like they have like one super big thing to block Hecarim. We can say you can't block Hecarim. Um, that could be pretty nice. Or, you know, like the Nocturne ability to grant something vulnerable. We can grant something small vulnerable and then have like a bigger Hecarim uh, challenge that smaller thing. All right, Leona Aurelian Soul. A deck that plays great defense. So this is a, a difficult test for us right off the bat. All good cards for us, all good Nightfall cards. Let's mulligan the Doom Beast and the Unspeakable Horror, and I will keep the other two. And <laughs> basically replace them with the same two cards. Ah. Evershade Stalker. The thing about this card is it's a good card, but it's not really a card you want a second copy of. Oh, um. Okay. Night flowers upon my blade. All right, so we'll go Duskbringer into Shade Stalker. Darkness hides my path. Bless the paper and see it. Let's go, Soldier. I can still play two Evershade Stalkers this turn. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Which I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna save this stalking shadows for next turn. No more hiding. This should block my two one. Back heretic. I go down to eleven. Saying so many things at once. Feel 
of the sun's glory. Sisters, invisible to the ignorant. Okay. So six mana. I have three different options. I have just play Hecarim as an option. I have uh, play Luna this Shade Stalker and then double Ever Shade Stalker. I have that as an option, or the Lunari Shade Stalker and then Nocturne as an option. And I like I like option number three. I think I think I want Nocturne in play. Huh. It's just the worst possible for me. Abomination. Your truth. If they don't kill my, if they don't have like a single combat, oh, I guess all they need is a. I guess that thing just challenges. Man. Gosh. This deck just doesn't lose. <laughs> it's not possible for this deck to lose. <laughs> this Leona really in Soul deck. These lifesteal things are so big. I needed my Nocturne to not die here, because if, if the Nocturne didn't die here, then we'd be able to play four Evershade Stalkers and, you know, like, probably attack for a win. Um, ooh. Okay. That's a good sign. Oh. You have got to be kidding me. Man, I hate this deck. Got to be kidding me. Break their minds, play their souls, eyes everywhere. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Unreal. Sure. <laughs> we have the other Evershade Stalker, of course. I'll just play this and uh, get some of these Nightfall cards in play. Yeah, I mean, they have everything, right? Like, this like single combat with these cards and just that 5-4 lifesteal is ridiculous. You know, the, the slur like, they just have everything in this deck. Okay, they just get, they're just going to play Judgment. I mean, they have judgment, they have judgment, I guess. So you want you want to make sure your other ephemerals are attacking before the Hecarim, because once the Hecarim dies, then they don't get the plus three, plus three bonus anymore. So you want this, you have to make sure that those are attacking first. Yeah, like, that's cool. You're awesome. All 
All right, can't get any worse. That means we're gonna we're gonna have some good games now. Okay, I love Pale Cascade. That card's awesome. There we go. I like this better. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Lunari. And even though I could go dust into Lunari on at turn two, I'm planning on just waiting till turn three to do that. And then having Pill Cascade also. I just don't need to do that right now. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Darkness hides in my path. I have the best job. Unseen, unheard. For truth. Well, the good news is that's it. not a get excited for the Nocturne. The bad news, of course, I didn't have Phil Cascade to protect there. Fading Memories is a good Nightfall enabler. I got ways to find me mushroom. I don't mean mask to secure me tail. Stop today. God axes need victims. Excuse you. <laughs> no, Leona Reliant Soul never loses. I mean, you can't go bigger than a Reliant Soul, and you can't you can't aggro it with all those lifesteal things and single combats and hush, Pell Cascade, Sharp Sight. Kind of work towards leveling up this Nocturne and everything. Forgive me. Nocturne's at 3 out of 5 now. These puff caps are, are good. Nightfall enablers also. Shadestalker. Deal four. What's up, Gucci? <laughs> Thank you so much for doing the tier one sub. I am so sorry that that the Twitch Prime didn't work, but I I you know really really appreciate that support and um, I appreciate you still uh, subscribing even with the Twitch Prime not working for you. Thank you, Gucci. So level up Nocturne will make these fearsome. Hurt, hurt, hurt. The fear grows. 
Ravenous Flock is just one too many damage, right? Like, I, I could have the Nocturne be four health. Just one too many. Wow. That's telling me they have another Ravenous Flock in hand that they're going to just kill the Nocturne the next turn. Also could mean that they have, you know, Ezreal. Now they have good attacks with the Ezreal, and they have so many cards. I don't think we're winning this one. That Tribeam and Pribulator was just so great, making the back alley barkeep, <laughs> which makes the Rune Weaver, which also gets them a Reforge card, which also gives them the three one. Tribeam and Pribulator was awesome for us last last uh, deck we were playing, and it's pretty awesome for my opponent here. I really need like unspeakable horror. That Ezreal should just kill us. Let's see all of it. Yeah, I think this game's over. Ours is the one true light. I don't miss. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Hey, there you go. Joystick Report getting a gifted sub. Gucci! Gifted one out. Thank you so much there, Gucci. That is kind of crazy that we're already getting a new region next month, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, next month we're going to get a new region again. That is pretty crazy. Evershade Stalker's been okay, but it has been a hindrance drawing two Evershade Stalkers in these games. Um, the first one I kept in Evershade Stalker, I think I should have mulliganed it. The, the second one drawn is, is just a dead card. Okay, Unspeakable Horror will kill the Rune Weaver and find us another Nightfall card. That's the kind of stuff we need. Cause yeah, like we need cards that are, you know, two for ones or better to try to keep up with them. But this looks over. No, if that does it. I go ways to find me mushrooms. With their minds, play their souls, eyes everywhere. They can only block one fearsome thing. Cut them, cut them, kill them. So they block one onlooker. <laughs> this is them taking a lot of damage. They have to, like, assuming that they, they, none of these three cards are spells they can play, like no Mystic Shots or anything like that, they would have to, they have to block with Ezreal to stay alive. Excuse you. Like, that block kills them. But then again, how do we stay alive on the way back? I don't know, because I'm down even, like, you know, best case scenario, I'm at five if they cast those two, uh, puff cap cards. And then I only have two blockers, which I guess would technically keep me alive for a little bit. But maybe we top deck another unspeakable horror for the one extra damage. That's our best draw step, unspeakable horror.
No, not a pup cap. I can't afford a pup cap. Um, I guess Doom Beast. Doom Beast is also another good one. Especially now that we have this burst card. Let's look for Doom Beast. There it is. Ah! They drew a puff cap! Haha, <laughs> we got him there. Also, I forgot we gave him puff caps. I forgot about that. Alright, it worked. Are you able to? Ooh, Noxus Bilgewater. Riven's Fortune. Yup. Awesome. There we go. Prediction started with your channel points. Okay. Moonlight Affliction, not necessary. I like all these one mana cards. Now they don't they don't block if my opponent plays Misfortune, but we are going to want one mana cards in this kind of aggro mirror. I'm gonna get on the board quickly. It's our time. <laughs> Get you noticed around here. Mm. Let's go with. Maybe we'll just go pass. No, we we'll go here. Night flowers upon my blade. You point, I shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your higher gun. <sighs> Fading memories, a higher gun could be kind of cool. All right, so how do I want to how do we want to do this? All right, you know what? Let's just start with let's just start with the dust pedal dust and pass. Cause I don't know, like there's there's different things that you know we can kind of take this turn different places. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Okay, so that would cost fading memories. This. Play that. Play this. No more hiding. Attack here. Ooh, got some fighting ya. So it took took two cards to kill the misfortune, but we also deal two damage to them. I think that's worth it. Um, yep. I wish we'd be able to play the Hecarim the next turn and attack with the Hecarim. Yeah, those Legion Grenadiers are good. Invisible to the ego. I just want to trade with them. I'd rather have my Shade Stalker trade with it than a Crescent Guardian. With Crescent Guardian attacking for more. Uh, pass turn. I think it probably makes more sense to play two of these Evershade Stalkers than t than one Crescent Guardian, but we'll kind of see what they do. Um. What time is it? Nope. I would not want to be you. Moonlight Affliction, we don't need you. Explosives primed. But we do need Hecker. I stand for Noxers! <laughs> They'll never see it coming. So blocking means that like a a Noxian fervor can kill my Hecarim. I'm gonna skip the block. Okay. 
But who knows, that could come back to haunt us with enough burn spells also. I can level so I can level up Hecarim if I play Unspeakable Horror first and then triple Evershade Stalker, then we level up Hecarim. Or I go Moonlight and then we turn on Nightfall, but then I can only play two Evershade Stalkers or like one horror and a, and a stalker. Um I'm gonna do this. I, I know we don't get to create the Nightfall thing. Um, if this was like Hush, I'd, I'd play Hush first, but... Alright, House Spider. And then of course, remember, attack with these things before the Hecarim. So they'll all be 5 power. And fearsome. So this looks pretty good for us. This is looking pretty good. And there we go. All right, good win. Two and one. Go hard. I feel like Gohard's gonna be killing all my stuff. I'm gonna be sad. So I don't want fading memories, and I don't think I want Stitchy and Onlooker either. Cool. So how we're gonna enable Nightfall, I'm not sure. <laughs> Every single one of these cards can get the Nightfall bonus. Haven't figured that out yet. We'll figure that out eventually. Yeah, it's just it's just this kind of matchup like, the, like they're very removal based and with them being so removal based, I just don't, don't really want fading memories cuz that, you know, it doesn't trade for a card. And then also with them being very removal based, the the Stygian onlooker being a 2-1 as we kind of see with these cards they just played would have died very quickly. We got the Crescent Guardian back. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. Darkness hides in my path. Yeah, people play Vile Feast and Withering Whale and go hard sometimes and I'm not sure if I really completely agree with those cards either. Um, but you see him. You see him around. I know what lurks in the shadows. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. I mean, I think it just kind of makes your... <clears throat> I think it makes your spray fin a lot worse playing Vile Feast, and it's just not a necessary card to play, but... People do... weird things. Who's that you got there? Only at one for Nocturne. I don't change fate, but I can see it. All right, so we have the the backup Evershade Stalker. So you know we're using this one pretty poorly, but we do have the backup. Scene on the head. A game. 
Go on then. Darkness hides in my path. Yep. Brothers. Not too surprised there. Forgive me. And I'm gonna use Pale Cascade to save my Crescent Guardian and just do a whole bunch of damage to them. 11 total, not bad. And I got to not have my Nocturne get vengeanced. So that was also good. Man, I'm doing a bad job finding things to lead with though. Every, every single card we have is um, must we fight? Fear not death. Every single card that I have um, is Nightfall, which is not the best. I need every single one. To be so I could like I can lead with Nocturne, and that's that's perfectly fine. I can lead with Nocturne. It's just do I do I want to? So like let's say I lead with Nocturne, they play Um They play Vengeance on the Nocturne. And then I have Unspeakable Horror. It's probably fine. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's better than, than just passing, because it's not like I'm You know, I, I think it's better to to use some mana here. I've whipped up something special. Again. <clears throat> so there's no there's no use in saving, you know, trying to save it because it's still going to take two damage from the two of them. I mean, I don't I don't love just going open attack though because because of, of withering whale. I'm gonna keep them from drawing the two. I think it's I think it's better just to throw down a bunch of Evershade Stalkers than I know I could play the Stygian and Onlooker and then try for open attack with them all being fearsome and them not being able to block to do nine damage. I, I think it makes better sense to play a bunch of these things though. Or that thing. Like a fish in water. <laughs> They can't block anything. All my stuff's fearsome. And there we go. We are three and one. Nocturne Hecarim is pretty cool. Besides that that incredibly disappointing game one that was really frustrating. Besides that, our deck's been pretty awesome. Yeah, this is this has worked out well. This has been a fun deck. Just had that one bad game. Zoe Lee Sin. I think we may be able to outpressure them. We'll see. Uh, fading memories. Nah, nah. We'll keep these two. You know, having the attack token turn at six. Pretty nice with Hecarim. Maybe I should. Keep, maybe I just need to keep fading memories. Just in general. To enable this nightfall. No more hiding. I say. Um. Their scent travels on the night air. No. Nope. 
All right, next turn we're going to have six mana. So one, five, okay. So yes, now we have five. Oh, I guess I, I can't go Soldier Nocturne because that's five spell mana. That's okay. I, I could go Soldier, Onlooker, Horror. Okay, so Soldier, Onlooker, Pale Cascade. Bless the people and fear the heretics. You're only at two? I'll still go Pale Cascade over Horror, right? Yeah, it's just easier for them to save their thing with Horror, but I guess Hush, I guess maybe they're thinking Hush. I don't want to just like let damage happen and then let them gem, I don't think. I'd rather them use a Pale Cascade than a Hush, probably, right? Or would I rather them just use a Pale Cascade? I don't know. I'll I'll go this route. I don't know. I don't know which one of these to do. Because, yeah, it's like, do I want them to Pale Cascade like this, or do I want them to Hush with the other one? See you, Zoe. Four Better luck next time. Without skill. <laughs> Present strike looks pretty good. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. I'm kind of I'm hoping they tap under deny basically I fight with my spirit not my fists our enemies nope. would be foolish to underestimate you that would make sense See, the thing is, is like, I, I already have like a full board with the Serpent. I just, I didn't think like this, yeah, it's so like I did play into Deny, but. That like taps them out, basically. Like they can't, they can't make this thing be able to block. They can only have, like they, they can have the two blockers, they block, block, they take eight, they go to two. Oh God, yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, that works. Yeah, so they go to two. Um Tippy Tips with the raid. Welcome everybody from Tippy Tip stream. Our Noxus Tribeam deck was pretty good to start with. We're now playing uh, some Nocturne Hecarim that's been going pretty good. This one be a little close. Can we get the last two points of damage in? Well, I guess, you know, they have Dragling, so. Um, they had the deny. They needed to stay alive. And yeah, now they're gonna, they're gonna do this. This would be close. But enter your spirit. We're going to a very high life total now. So this one's going to be close. Attacked with zero ephemeral so far. What 
what is gained when we return malevolence? I think I have to develop. I don't think that I don't think an open attack is going to be good enough. Kind of looking at it, I think I have to develop. We'll go with this. We'll go with Crescent Guardian. Because, you know, I, I can play everything in hand. They did have that Hush from before, if I would have pill cascaded a long time ago. So that was that was their first card. So, yeah, they, they had that Hush. They've cast a million spells these last couple turns. Pretty nice. But will it be nice enough? So Lisa and blocks there. They go to nine. Like they go Lisa and block here, they 3-1 block here. This block here, they're at 9. Ah, I still can't kill him. I will not hold back. Yes. Ready yourself. Yes. That was the block I needed. That was a very greedy block. That's what I need. That's why I want to put. I want to put the best, like the thing they wanted to block with Dragling. I put that last to try to bait out that block. That was a very greedy block. They should not have made that block. That life steal's got to go a lot earlier. All right, we put the correct order. They did not. We ended up with the win. All right, so our Nocturne Hecarim deck ended up four and one with just the loss to the Leona Aurelian Soul deck. Even though I guess I probably should have lost that one as well with all the awesome stuff they had with how their hand played out. Uh, but it worked well. I, I mean, I think this was a good combination, these two together. And the Evershade Stalker was awesome at, um, you know, kind of filling the gap with both of them. Because we even leveled up, like that last game, we didn't have leveled up Hecarim. But basically, the other games that we were playing, Hecarim, we were leveling up Hecarim. And it's not easy to attack with seven Ephemeralos. But we were just doing that, basically, with its attack putting in two, and then, like, having two Shade Stalkers attacking twice also. So Shade Stalker was leveling up our Hecarim, and that worked pretty well. We were super heavy on Nightfall. Maybe we need another enabler or two. I guess, we, you know, we do have the nine enablers, but um, I was struggling a little bit with having enablers. And I guess that can be upwards of 12, right? Because you can use the Lunari Duskbringer as two, uh, two different turns of enablers. Um didn't get to do anything cool with the Moonlight Affliction, but it's just a one-up. You can't expect to always have, like, that one-up or anything. Um, oh, but yeah, we have, like, the Sh Stalking Shadows, too. Yeah, Stalking Shadows is awesome. We didn't draw that card very much, but that card's awesome. So, yeah, I think I think this this deck felt pretty good. I really liked it. I think that it, it had, like, a lot of really good stuff going for it. And uh, Hecarim was an awesome finisher, you know, as opposed to, like, Diana in this kind of deck. This was just an awesome finisher. So that's really cool. All right, there's Nocturne Hecarim. Good deck here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, give the deck a try and leave those comments of how is the deck? You know, how how was it like playing the deck? Um, what would you think of it? All that kind of stuff. I, I really like seeing that feedback. really love seeing those comments. Hopefully, y'all leave those there. But that's all I got here for this one. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you for the next video.